concerns Christopher Luxon may miss opportunities if he doesn't make this year's APEC summit. Leaders from governments around the Asia-Pacific region have gathered in San Francisco for a forum hosted by US President Joe Biden. But national leader and incoming Prime Minister Luxon says he won't attend until coalition talks with ACT and New Zealand First are complete. New Zealand Asia Institute Director Natasha Hamilton Hart sees it's more of a symbolic and diplomatic meeting. Nonetheless, it's always important for countries like New Zealand to be seen and to remind our partners we have certain interests. Nanaya Mahuta refused official advice to label last month's Hamas attack on Israel terror on social media. An official Information Act request reveals the Foreign Affairs Ministry emailed the just departed minister a draft post to be sent from her ministerial social media account. And it states New Zealand unequivocally condemns rocket and terror attacks from Gaza into Israel and calls for an immediate cessation. But Mahuta's office replied it disagreed with the wording of the tweet and requested a second draft. Mahuta lost her seat in last month's election after 27 years and is no longer an MP. Supplier cost increases are still on the up, but at a less frantic pace. Infometrics data shows the annual rate of growth in October was at 5.4%, down from 6.1% the month before. And Chief Executive Principal Economist Brad Olson says it's the slowest rate of increase in about 19 months. So it is encouraging news that we're starting to see perhaps less intense inflationary pressure. Still doesn't mean there's a lot of great deals on around, but better news in a sense. Dilworth School has allocated nearly $44 million for sexual abuse victim redress. The schools filed with the charities register to set aside the funds for about 250 students who suffered abuse since the 1950s. Payments are to be individually capped at $300,000 for the most exceptional cases. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.